Hello and welcome to our Career Essentials video on writing effective research statements. This is the first of a two-part video series and in this first video we look at when, why and what are research statements. By the end of this video we hope you'll be able to explain when and why a research statement is needed and assess if it's something you'll need to prepare for in the future. So when do you need a research statement? Well, the expectation of what you need for academic applications has increased hugely over the years. Going from left to right, uh, we move from the most common documents to the ones that are, are less commonly asked for. Of course, the CV and cover letter are still the most common, but a research statement is increasingly asked for too. And some, it's not just for lectureships and um, some fellowships, for example, the Oxford and Cambridge Junior Research Fellowships expect research statements. So you don't need to be ready to apply for lectureships um, and you still might need a research statement. Therefore, it's helpful to start thinking about it and start maybe um, drafting one way before you're ready to apply for a lectureship or a faculty level job. As the expectations of all the materials you'll need for academic applications does vary, it's worth uh, working out what you might need in advance. This can vary from institution to institution or country to country. So take a moment to pause this video and make a note of what you might need. If you're not sure, uh, a good way is to sign up for jobs in the institutions and countries that you're interested in. And then you'll see the types of application materials that they are asking for. And we cover all aspects of academic applications, some of the other boxes mentioned in the slide um, as part of this Career Essentials um, series. So do look out for these two. So why on earth do you need a research statement? Surely a CV and a cover letter is enough for an academic panel to make up their mind if you're the right person. Well, it might be worth considering how they use the material in a research statement to assess if you are uh, the best person for the role. The following four aspects tend to be very important, uh, particularly for faculty level positions. So you can pause the video to have a read of these in your own time. So what is really key is that your potential to become a research leader. Note I use the word potential, you don't need to be there yet, but potential is based on past experience. So you need to show that you've made an impact in your field somehow. Your future Research needs to sound coherent, something you've thought about in advance and put, put quite a, a lot of thinking into it, and that your research and by extension you will be an asset to your host institution. Finally, uh, let's actually define what a research statement is. There's sometimes a bit of confusion, um, understandably, between the difference between a research statement and research proposal. So I'll go through what I think are the key differences between them. One of the most important differences is probably the time frame. So a research statement is really about your longer term goals. So and they're broken up into short, medium and long term aims. Whereas a research proposal is a much more discreet time period, for example, five years. Um, funnily enough, a research statement is actually a much, usually a much shorter document than a research proposal because you don't have to give any detailed methodology um, in it in the way you do in a research uh, pr uh, proposal. Uh, the research statement, very importantly, needs to be adapted to each host institution you apply to. So every position you go for, you need to adapt it and to show that you fit with that host institution. Whereas the research proposal is written with one host institution in mind. And the research statement um, is not tied to a specific scheme. So you may well mention the funding schemes and the funders that would be interested in funding this type of research. Whereas the research proposal is written with a specific scheme in mind and it's adapted to the specifications of that scheme. And finally, there's no budget uh, attached to research statement where a research proposal needs detailed budget. So hopefully that clears up some of the confusion. Hope you've enjoyed the first video and please join us on the second video when we'll discuss and analyse how to write an effective research statement.